At a mock corporate news, Hindalco has just released the results of a shareholder vote at its last annual general meeting. Kumar Mangalam Birla's reappointment as director has been approved with over 91% voting in his favour. But what's interesting is that 18.6% of public institutional shareholders have voted against this move. And this comes just days after 22% of HDFC shareholders voted against Deepak Parikh's reappointment, even as 77% voted in Parikh's favour. Kevin Lee is standing by with more details. Details. Kevin. Well, Hindalco's annual general meeting was held on the 21st of September, and one of the resolutions taken up, like you mentioned, was the reappointment of Kumar Mangalam Birla as a director on the board. Uh, now, while that resolution went through with a 91.6% majority, it has come to light through an exchange filing that 18.6% of institutional shareholders, amounting to a little over 14 crore votes, were against Birla's reappointment. Institutional investors currently account for 46.8% of Hindalco's total shareholding. And big institutional investors in the company include LIC, ICICI, Prudential Mutual Fund, SBI Mutual Fund, and others. Now, proxy advisory firm SES has confirmed to CNBC TV18 that it had advised institutions to vote against the reappointment. Jayan Gupta, who's the company's managing director, said, and I quote, we are of the opinion that the commission paid to Mr. Birla is excessive compared to that of other non-executive directors of the company. Now, we haven't been able to confirm yet if there are any other proxy advisory firms who share this view. We have written to Hindalco on the matter, and we are awaiting a response.